Hello everyone. Now we're going to prepare chicken chop. Okay, we are given a chicken, chicken chop marinated, potatoes, and a brown sauce. Okay, first thing we have to open up the chicken chop, put the skin upwards to a baking tray. Okay, put in the oven to bake 200 degrees for seven minutes. At the same time, if you do not have an oven, you can use a frying pan to fry the chicken. Okay, pan fry the chicken means that you, I will show you later on how you do it. Okay, then the second part of it, we prepare the potato. So first, now we blanch the potato to half cook. So it actually easier for us to roast in the oven. So we blanch the potato for about three to four minutes. It depends on the size of the potatoes. Okay, you want it to be half cooked, then you put it in the oven to roast it with in that. After the potato is half cooked, all right, you need to pour away the water. Okay, and you put in some butter, toss together, and you put some salt pepper, just toss them. Now, what if for those who don't have an oven, because I'm going to put this in the oven. What if for those who don't have an oven? If you have an oven, you put inside the oven to roast it. Okay, for another 8 minutes, 200 degree, it will be just cooked. Right? For those who don't have, you will just on it and you start cooking from here. But never stop. Never, never stop stirring but I will still recommend oven roasting because for this roasting like this it will not be nice that the oven roasting but you remember you need to cover okay you need to cover and keep on stirring all right but I'm going to put it into an oven now okay now I have a seven minute of a chicken ready baked in the oven so right now, I'm going to pan silk the color of the chicken. At the same time, you can see that there's a juice coming up from the chicken. Don't throw away because this is going to enhance the sauce flavor. All these are concentrated uh, chicken juice, right? They are all concentrated chicken juice. So you put aside, okay? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the potato over to the same frame, to the same pan, roasting pan, and I'm going to put this into the oven and roast. Okay, then I'm going to heat up this. There you go. Using the same frying pan, eh? you don't have to keep on washing and washing. Reason why I do not want to recommend pan fried chicken, you can actually pan fry them in the first place. Uh, so it's cooked. Okay, now you can see very fast the color is out and they are ready to turn. Okay. It actually uh, smoke out and make your whole house smell like a you know hawker center. So you do not want that to happen. So you roast it and you just seal it with the color. The kitchen doesn't smell 
so much and the, your kitchen will stay intact in a whole place. Okay, then we turn over again to make sure the skin has enough color. So brown, golden brown. Okay, look, nice color. Now we have a nice color. So the next thing, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the sauce, okay? Put in the sauce and put in the leftover juice from the chicken, the extra corn, okay? There's a little bit of chicken oil in it, okay? No worry. Chicken oil will actually enhance the sauce and give shining and actually it tastes good. Trust me, unhealthy food is good for people. It's better than those uh, imitation oil and whatever. This is pure chicken oil. If you say it's going to be unhealthy, as I say, chicken rice. You know, you eat butter or you eat uh, real chicken oil. So. There you go, you have a nice sauce, shining sauce, okay? So right now, we're going to do plating. Okay, after the potato rolls, nice in color, okay, we're going to do a plating, all right? size and we put in the chicken nicely on top and we do the sauce garnish on top voila it's done okay a nice plate of western chicken chop <laughs>